Hey, what's good, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing great today. Got something kind of cool, especially if you're a brand new player to LSPFR, and even better if you're a veteran player of LSPFR. It involves a brand new plugin on the LSPFR.com site. It's called Extra Manager. I'm going to show you what that means in today's video. We're going to do a showcase first. I'm going to show you what it's about, what it means to you, and how valuable it could be. In the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how to install it and how to manipulate a few files. Let's get it. Okay, let's dive right into this. Now, this is going to be a showcase for the Extra Manager plugin. It's really cool. I really love it. If you're brand new to LSPFR, hang with me a little bit because uh, you may not think you'll get some use out of this particular plugin, but I can guarantee you that you will find some really good use for it as you play the game longer and as you mod your game and install new vehicle packs. So say, for example, we spawn in a vehicle. Now, this is a vehicle pack that is a DLC add-on pack. Now, it just so happens that there is two vehicles it has exactly the same name as the replacement model. So we have a Sheriff and a Sheriff 2. This right here is Sheriff. This back over here is Sheriff 2. This right here is an add-on vehicle. It is a 2014 Charger. And uh, the reason why I'm telling you all that is because depending on how you spun it into the game, your vehicle may or may not have extras. Sometimes the car modders, uh, whenever they're making cars, sometimes they will include extras that they don't even tell you about. And sometimes they'll include extras on here that you wish that you could remove, but you just thought it was part of the vehicle. So, for example, this Tahoe. Now, those are plate readers. Maybe you don't want those on the Tahoe, just as, as an example. Maybe you don't want that full wraparound push bar, you know, on your Tahoe. It looks really cool, but maybe on your Tahoe you don't want it. Now, this charger has a full wraparound push bar. It looks pretty cool. I like it. This charger doesn't have any wraparound push bar. It just has the Weston push bar at the front. Maybe you're shooting a little bit of radar in the county. Where's your uh, ALPRs to do plate readers if you want? Uh, this one over here has a cool wraparound push bar, but it doesn't have any ALPRs. And like I was mentioning earlier, sometimes people install car packs and car mods, and they don't even realize that some of these things are considered to be extras, which means they could be taken off or put back on. Sometimes they can't. It just depends on how the car modder actually did it. So, for example, the spotlights in this particular vehicle are permanent. Can't take those off. This front push bar right here at the very front of this particular vehicle is also permanent. I can't take that off. This push bar right here has actually two components to it. It doesn't look like it, but it does. It has a top and a bottom. And of course, the AOPRs, which are the plate readers at the top of this vehicle right here, uh, those could be easily removed. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it the old-fashioned way first. So this is what we used to have to do. And this is where the veterans are going to really pay attention to what I'm saying on this particular plugin. We would have to go to F3, which is a simple trainer, for example. It's going to be highlighted in orange. I'm going to go to Vehicle Options. And you'll see it's highlighted in orange. Go down to Vehicle Mod Menu. And then scroll upwards to Vehicle Components. You'll see it's highlighted in orange right there. My advice is if you're not familiar with the car pack, and maybe the car modder didn't tell you what extras are included, for example, which is the case most of the time, Use your arrow keys on your number pad keys. So number pad six. And then every time you do a number, press your number pad five key for the enter key. That's what it is for a simple trainer. So I'm pressing in my number pad five, nothing there. Component number three, nothing there. Component number four, that's on my number pad five key, nothing there. Nothing at five, six, seven, eight, nothing. Most of the time, people that uh, found this menu, they've already exited out of the menu. They get frustrated. When in fact, their components are actually later in the menu. It's like 9, 10, 11, 12. Sometimes a little bit earlier, just depends on the car mod. Now let's go to component number nine. Top of the western push bar, number pad five. Component number 10, we'll get your ALPRs at the very top. Component number 11, there's nothing there. But if I go up to number 12, and there's the lower part of the RAM push bar. Now it's important to note that not car mods are all gonna be named the same thing. I chose this particular pack, which I'll link it down below. It's a pretty cool pack. You may not have all these components. You may not have any components. I'm going to show you something even cooler in just a second. So now we have our Dodge Charger right here, all decked to the nines. we got a really cool wraparound push bar. looks pretty epic. we got some plate readers on the back, and we're looking really nice. If you can remember your component numbers that we just showed you a second ago, because every car mod is going to be different, maybe this Tahoe right here. You don't want it to have any plate readers, right? At three for a simple trainer, vehicle components, vehicle mod menu. And this time we know where the vehicle components are. We're going to arrow to the left this time. So we're going to take that RAM bar and make it, make it simple, right? Number pad five, vehicle component number 10, and then vehicle component number nine. And maybe you want your Tahoe to look sort of like this. Yeah, you know, as a supervisor vehicle, right? And the veteran players play already caught on to what I was about to say right there. This is an add-on vehicle. This is uh, going to be a name called a SO2014-Charger. That's the name of this add-on vehicle right here. It's 
a long name, right? So what about your police partners, you know, your, your backup? How are they going to respond? How are they going to be driving around in the game? And here's the AI backup right here. Maybe you wanted them to have, you know, the wraparound push bar and uh, the plate readers of the back. That's the way you wanted it. But yet they show up like this. This one's got a simple push bar. Uh, this one over here does have some plate readers. So this one here has plate readers, which we didn't need. And this one's the same way. So how do we keep that from happening? If you spawn in a vehicle into the game, sometimes it's random what kind of components to get installed onto your vehicle. Here, let me show you. So you can kind of see if you spawn it in naturally, you know, either through the Rage Console or through the Simple Trainer. Uh, some of these have plate readers and some of them don't. You can kind of see it's very random. And here's the push bars. Look at that one. Pretty ugly. So that's where the extra managers come into play. So check this out. It's a standalone plugin. You don't even have to be on duty. We're going to type in load plugin. And then start typing in extra. We're going to press tab. And then press enter. Now watch everything change. And now take a look. We have all of our plate readers right there. On every single vehicle the way we want it. We have our ram bars exactly the way we want them. Also the AI vehicle. Here's another AI vehicle right there. And here's another one. So they will uh, spawn into the game and it'll have all the components that you want to add on or take away. It just kind of depends. And by the way, wouldn't you like to be this rich? You know, go to a car lot and just kind of look through all the vehicles and just kind of go, eh, I'll just drive this one today. So we want to make sure that we get the vehicle name exactly coordinated with the extra manager. We want to make sure we have the correct vehicle name uh, that is not necessarily the model name. It has to coordinate with extra manager. So let me show you how to do that. I just got into an add-on vehicle right here. I'm going to press my F4 key. And since the extra manager is loaded in already, we're going to type in get current. You can see it's already spelling it out for us. Press your tab key. Now press enter. And you'll see the name of the vehicle right there. Vehicle model name is SO2014-CHAR. T-H-A-R. Now not to confuse you, that is not how you spot it into the game. That is how this particular plugin will actually call on this particular vehicle. And once again, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to install this. If you need to make changes, this is a standalone plugin. So you can always do this. Type in unload plugin extra. Start typing it out. Press tab. Press enter. Now it is unloaded. And now you can press your window key or alt tab, however you'd like to do it, and make changes. This is an SO 2014 char right there. Maybe I don't want to have that wraparound push bar. For me, it's going to be component number nine and also component number 12. Number 10 are my ALPRs, the plate readers. I'm going to come up here and save it. And remember, my game is still running. So we're going to go back into the game. And now we're going to type in load plugin, extra manager, press tab, enter. So we have a kind of a standard push bar without the wraparound. And we have our ALPRs in the back. And once again, the AI will respond exactly like this as well. Now let's go ahead and go through the install process. If that interests you, then stick around to this part of the video coming up. Now to install this plugin, it's extremely easy. It only takes a couple of seconds. What you want to do is take the plugins folder and also the venoxity.common.dll. Uh, even if you have that installed, it won't hurt to overwrite your other one. Now we're going to go ahead and take both of these files and just pull it into your main game directory down here. I already have this installed right there. I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. Let me show you where it landed at. If you open your plugins folder, I have a lot of plugins, so disregard. Now this is where your LSPDFR is located at right here. You're going to have two files. You're going to have an extra manager.dll. You're going to have a folder up here called Extra Manager. Dive into Extra Manager. You're going to see an XML file. Now, if it's a blank piece of paper to you, there's no icon there. My advice is to download Notepad++ or click on the link down below. It's a free program. It's extremely small, really easy to download and install. And that way you can edit your XML files in the future. Say open with and then go to Notepad++. That way you can open these up really easy. Now, when you're looking at an XML document, you're looking at all this code and things like that. It's not a lot of code to begin with. Uh, you don't have to be a coder to understand this. You just have to know a little bit about the basics of XML editing. You'll we'll see some brackets up here labeled as vehicles. That is the beginning of this code right here. Here's the very end of the XML code right down here at the very bottom. If you kind of highlight a little bit of it, you'll see it turns purple to indicate this is the beginning and that's the end. We're not going to worry about this pole gauntlet. I think he just put it there as just a reference point. If you have the pole gauntlet installed, it will not hurt you to leave it in. But if you're like me, you don't really care about it too much. You can always overwrite it. It doesn't really matter. In my case, I'm going to come back and overwrite this. But for now, let's take the code that is found in pole gauntlet and let's cheat a little bit. See this code right here? You see that turns purple as well. That's a different kind of code. That's the beginning of this and beginning of that. So notice it says vehicle 
instead of vehicles. Here's the beginning of it, and here's the very end of it. And you can right click, you can copy. We could do it like most of us. Left control C, and then click at the very bottom of that code right here. Not here, but right there. At the end of that code, press enter. And now do left control V or right click base. We're going to have two pole gauntlets. How about we do another one? Press enter, left control V. Now we have three pole gauntlets. Like I said, don't let that worry you. Remember the beginning of the showcase, we had the sheriff vehicle there. So I'm going to change this to sheriff. Just double click the word. I like to put mine in capital letters. We're going to say sheriff. This next one, we're going to type in sheriff 2. Now this is just my vehicles. Your vehicles are going to be different. You don't have to put in all your vehicles in here, by the way. If you want to leave the other ones alone, just leave them alone. Remember what I said in the showcase demo earlier is that this works with add-on vehicles. So remember that code that I showed you at the very beginning? Where it's called get current vehicle name. Press F4 on your Rage console. While you're still inside the game, type in get current vehicle. Please note that you have to have the extra manager loaded in order for this to work. Once you get your vehicle name, come back over here. And for me, it is a little unique name called SO2014 dash char. Now I remember my vehicle components in the showcase. I had component number nine, component number 10, and component number 12. I didn't have a component number 11. So this one here is, these are also referred to as extras. So extras are components. So for me, it's going to be 9, 10. This one we really don't need. I'm going to press my backspace key, delete out that code. I'm going to put in 12, 9, 10, and 12. If you want all the components on there, for my sheriff vehicle, that is a charger. Maybe I want to have all of them as true. You highlight the word false, and we'll change that to true. You cheat a little bit. Highlight that again, left control C. And we just change them all to true. I can cheat a little bit again, knowing that the components are all the same for this vehicle pack. So I'm about to take this code right here and I highlight it from there to there. Left control C, go back to share of two, highlight all these and left control V. Do it again, highlight all these, left control V. For my components, number nine is the upper part of the push bar. Number 10 is my plate readers. Number 12 is the lower part of the push bar. This is my Tahoe right here, share of two. Maybe I want all those as false. If I wanted my plate readers on there, I would change this extra ID number 10. I would change that back to true. And maybe for this particular add-on vehicle right here, this is another charger, the 2014 charger. Maybe I want to take off the ALPRs. I have one more vehicle. Take the beginning of the code all the way down to the end of the code. Left control C, click right here. Press enter, left control V. This one right here is going to be a FPIU. That is my vehicle name that is inside the game. I have another one over here. It's a SO2014 Tahoe. So remember that current, or remember that get current vehicle name? The plugin calls it SO2014 Tahoe like this. It leaves off the E. So it depends on what you get with that get current vehicle name. And I'd make changes to the vehicle components the way I want the AI to respond, as well as what kind of vehicle that I want to be responding in. Once you're done making changes, you're going to press save and make sure you bounce back into the game and type in load plugin extra manager and then all the changes will take effect. Remember the vehicle name needs to match whatever the plugin decided to give it. In this case, it's gonna be Char for Charger, Tahoe for Canadian Tahoe. Now, if you wanna have Raid Shook load this particular plugin, which I'd probably suggest that you do, especially if you're gonna be playing, you're gonna probably gonna forget to load this yourself. So you wanna have Raid Shook do it every single time. Here's how you do it. We're gonna double click Raid Shook and hold down your shift key for about two or three seconds. I'm gonna double click Rage, hold down my shift key, and you'll get your Rage menu that looks like this. And just a side note, make sure you have your plugin timeout threshold right here. Set that to 60,000. It allows the plugins to load a little bit more efficiently. Go to your plugins tab. Now, I, for one, have a lot of plugins that I like to load things in game myself. However, if you like to have Raid Shook loaded for you every single time, which I'd probably encourage you to do, make sure you click on load all these plugins on startup. Or you can click right here and say load these plugins on startup. And just kind of pick and choose the ones that you want to have loaded up with Raid Shook every single time. In this case, we'll click on Extra Manager, for example. If you're lazy like me, you can always click on Load All Plugins on Startup, and then just go ahead and save and launch your game. And that is how you have Raid Shook loaded every single time you play this game. And then also some cool news is that Binoxity stated he wants to make it into a menu system. So uh, eventually, whenever you're watching this video in the future, you're going to be confused as to what the hell I'm talking about with all these XML stuff. But there may be a menu system for you in the future, so all you have to do is press a menu maybe in-game, and make some good changes, maybe take off some components, things like that. That's what I'm hoping he adds in. It'd be kind of cool if he did. And also just a little bit of advice, if you're not getting this thing to work properly, the best thing to do is go over to Vinoxity's Discord right here. I'm gonna timestamp this for you right now 
into the video. If you're having technical difficulty or something's just not quite working right, make sure you go to Vinoxity Discord. I cannot see your files. I will not answer or even help you on YouTube comments. It takes way too much of your time because I respect your time and I don't want you to wait around for me you know, to answer your question. So head on over to Vinoxy's Discord to save yourself a lot more time and get the answers that you need. Really appreciate everybody watching. Until next time, we'll see you in the next patrol. Take care and stay safe. And maybe you got your backup coming. This is the way you want them to respond right here. The wraparound push bar looks really nice. The ALPRs, that's the way you want them to show up, right? And as they destroy vehicles, you stupid asses. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I swear to God. Hey, you really want your units to look just like this, baby, for example, you know, with the uh, nice plate readers. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's a female. I should have known.